Hello everyone, this is DA from me and Kerim and today we will briefly talk about one of the two different approaches that we use in the finite element study. This is the one of the approaches, the weighted residual approach and the, and the second approach will be the variational approach that we will discuss in the next video. Before going into the detail of the weighted residual method, let's write a general differential equation first. That is dy dx and we will considering the same prime variable, the field variable or the prime variable of the displacement that is represented by u. So we will write the general differential equation according to that displacement variable. So here we are with the general differential equation. We are with the three different functions, a of x, c of x and f of x. These three functions are basically according to the situation in every problem. So these functions are generally known as the known function because they are formulated according to the situation we have. So we don't need to figure out what is a of x, c of x, f of x when we have a selected problem but because we have only a general differential equation now that's why I am writing a of x, c of x and f of x here. And u of x that is the displacement and I'm not going to change the variable in every situation because it will help us understand the things more easily. If we have the same concept that we have initiated in the first direct method. So let's suppose we have a domain of 0 to L, same case as in the bar. So this is, and also just write the boundary conditions for the ease of understanding that displacement at zero is equal to u naught and let's suppose this a of x and du by dx at x is equal to l is another value for example q naught we're representing it with q naught so here u naught and q naught are the known values generally these values are known as the parameters of the boundaries so we have a boundary we have a boundary of 0 l basically the domain is from 0 to l we have three known functions here we have the main task of finding this displacement function and the two parameters on the boundary so as we know that the main task is to find that u of x, the displacement, and we have also discussed this thing that we don't have an exact solution. That's why we have in in this situation we are using FEM. We are using different approaches of FEM. So we have to approximate the solution. So for the case of approximation, because u of x is the exact solution and we have to approximate the solution with an approximate thing, an approximate function and generally this approximate function is equal to summation cj phi j plus phi naught. So here it is, it depends how many elements, nodes are in there. So these are and is representing those things. Here we have two terms, this term and this term. Here cj is just a coefficient that we need to figure out because phi j and phi naught are two functions that we have different functions in different situations and there are certain conditions on these two functions and we will talk about these conditions later. But here initially when we have this whole thing with these functions, with these two functions, we only have to figure out these coefficients. So if we figure out these coefficients, we have this approximate function that lead us to the solution, approximate solution of the differential equation. So we have to approximate the exact solution with an approximate one with this type of structure. Now we have seen how we have to approximate this kind of differential equation 
of this kind of approximate function, we have to discuss few more things to understand what is meant by the weighted residual method. We all know that the meaning of residual that it is used for the synonym of a remainder. So here, mathematically, what is residual and that is represented by R, where residual is the left hand side of this, the differential equation. So let's write this d by dx of a of x du by dx plus cu minus f c of x u and f of x and that should be equal to zero. So this is what the residual in this varied residual method. So this is the residual of this differential equation. Now we have to talk about what is the weight function. So if we write the integral over the domain that we have and this is a function w of x dot product with r and dx. So this w of x is basically a weight function and this r is the residual and this function what should be the format what should be the structure of this function is closely related to what should be these two functions and there are also a discussion on what should be this weight function what should be these two approximate function when we have to solve it in a strong form or when we have to solve in a weak form so we'll discuss the strong and weak form in the next video so here I'm not going into the detail of the WFX because here we have a weight function, here we have a residual that is equal to this thing, and we have to integrate over the whole domain. And here we have also said that the domain is from 0 to L, so let's write the domain here from 0 to L. So, this is the brief discussion on the weighted residual that what is meant by the weighted residual approach this is also known as a weighted integral approach because we have a weight associated with the residual so this is the weighted residual method that is used to figure out exactly what are the coefficients in this approximate solution and that lead us to the solution of the differential equation that we have so in the next video we will solve an example of this very residual method in order to understand the concept more easily so this is for now looking for most of the videos then you can subscribe to this channel in order to watch more upcoming videos we will meet in the next video till then take care goodbye